Mnangagwa Emerson Dambuzo of ZANU PF Party has received 2,350,711 votes out of 4,468,730 valid votes cast, which are more than half the number of valid votes cast in the presidential election. Therefore, Nangagwa Emerson Dabuzo of ZANU PF Party is declared duly elected President of the Republic of Zimbabwe with effect from 26 August 2023. All right, let's unpack uh, the election results now. Joined by SABC News International News Editor Sophie McGuena. Ms. Sophie, thank you very much indeed for your time. I want to start with the interview that we did in the past uh, hour. Xavier Kusukuwere basically saying that he plans, uh, you know, to continue this uh, fight to this new dawn, which he believes will still happen on the basis of the SEDEC report, which denounced Zimbabwe's elections. What do you make of that in particular? Because Zimbabwe's Emerson Mnangagwa is the incoming chair of the SEDEC Troika. Yes, indeed, it is going to be a difficult one, as you pointed out uh, during the last summit, now recently in Angola. Angola is currently the chair of the SADC, and uh, you have Zambia, the chair of the SADC Troika Organ on Politics and Defense, and this is where these matters are discussed. Now, when you talk about the Troika, you talk about the sitting chair, the outgoing chair, and also the incoming chair, and therefore, Zimbabwe is expected to chair the SADC Troika next year after the summit. And therefore, President Mnangagwa will be part of the meetings of the SADC Troika. So now the question is, will uh, that report really be entertained by the Troika? That includes the outgoing chair of the Troika, that is Namibia, President Hagengob. So you'll have President Hagengob, President Mnangagwa, and President Hishelema constituting this organ yeah. that is Troika. And therefore, I don't know, but clearly when you look at the current Troika chair, Hishelema, he's from the opposition. He did struggle to be where he is. He understands very well in terms of when there are issues in relation to election processes. And therefore, this is going to be an interesting one. Criselda, you are correct. And therefore, yeah. whoever wants to go to the Troika, that person must know that Munangagwa is part of that Troika. Now, the question is, the heads of state and government, mm -hmm. will they ask Zimbabwe to recuse itself if Zimbabwe is on the agenda. But and I guess, will Zimbabwe yeah. be on the agenda? But I guess the starting point as well, what we've not heard at this stage, at least I have not, is whether the opposition will challenge this uh, uh, election result and possibly um, many believe, or at least some of the analysis that we've seen, is that uh, this SADC report might possibly be what they could use if they are seen or if they want to challenge uh, the outcome of these election results. What have we heard? They are going to challenge the election results immediately after the announcement. They did uh, make it clear mm. that they are rejecting the results. They didn't sign the papers. And clearly, this paves way for the judicial process and, of course, and other processes that we don't know. But what is really, really surprising is that Nelson Chamisa mm. is mum. He did yeah. issue a note or a message on social media, on Twitter, encouraging Zimbabweans not to give up. But as we speak, nothing has come out of uh, Chamisa officially. What we saw a few minutes ago, it was the president of Zimbabwe, the outgoing uh, president, now the president-elect mm. in that matter. You remember after the announcement of the results, he is now president-elect, President Nangagwa, uh, making a statement where, for me, what was important, that's when he said, no one, no one will be left behind. But how are you going to do it? Mm -hmm. Are you going to invite the opposition to join your cabinet? How are you going to do it? And secondly, he really raised concerns, criticized the observers who 
made findings against the Electoral Commission mm. and went as far as questioning some of the laws in that country in terms of uh, the recent uh, amendment yeah. or to the uh, laws in that country where a person can be punished if uh, the if government feels that your statements and how you conduct yourself outside the country, it is uh, too much in relation to yeah. critiquing the government.